Hi, Sarah here from smallbusinesssarah.com. And in today's video, I'm going to go over the new credit card payment feature in QuickBooks Online. I'm gonna show you really quickly how it works so that you can record all of those credit card payments from your checking account to the credit card correctly and easily each month. If these videos have been helpful to you, I would so appreciate your like and your subscribe. Let's get started. So Etsy has this new feature, I suppose you could call it, where in the past for credit card payments, where you know the money comes from business checking, goes to the credit card to pay that off, usually what you would do and I have a video about this, you would select the transaction and you would do record as transfer and then you would transfer that money to the business credit card. It would appear as a match on the other side. Now they have this record as credit card payment option and you select which credit card it's paying and most of the time it can tell from a lot of the detail that comes through QuickBooks electronically. So you can see on this side, well, it wasn't showing as paired before. Now it's showing, okay, we think this is paired to another transaction. In the credit card side, that's where we are, the credit card, it's also showing that it's paired to another transaction. And we could do this either direction. So it's still record as a credit card payment, even though we're on the credit card side. And the payment is coming from the business checking account. And QuickBooks already knows this. So once everything is selected correctly, so payment to business checking. So on this side, I could simply just now hit add card payment. Or over here, if you've had to select record as card payment and select what credit card you're paying, at that point, I could hit add card payment up here or I could simply hit add down here. So that transaction has been recorded. And now when I come to the credit card side, because it was paired, that transaction has disappeared. So to be perfectly honest, that was freaking me out the first time that happened because in the past when I transferred money from checking to credit card, I had to match it on the other side. The transaction didn't disappear. Now it disappears because they were already paired together behind the scenes by QuickBooks and it knows that it's two of the same transactions which kind of helps because then you don't accidentally record the same transaction twice and have problems then with your accounts being off by those dollar amounts. So anyway, just wanted to go over that super quick kind of new feature and how it works so that you're not also surprised when the transaction disappears on the other side. That's all for now. Have a great day.